Women are often the caregivers in families today, so it's vital those caregivers get some care themselves. That's why here at Smart Medicine, we take time each month during our Her Baptist segment to focus on a specific topic designed to help maintain the good health of women. Lorene Cachola joins us once again with the story of how following doctor's orders helped one local woman deal with a complex disorder that occurred late in her pregnancy. Hey, sweetie. Are you waking up? It's a happy time in the Stencil household. They just welcomed into the world this little bundle of joy, Genevieve. But for new mom, Lindsay, the pregnancy was not without complications. During the last few weeks of the pregnancy, Lindsay experienced extreme swelling in her face, hands, and feet, dramatic weight gain, and as a visit to her doctor confirmed, high blood pressure and protein in her urine. Lindsay was diagnosed with a condition called preeclampsia. Preeclampsia causes the blood vessels to constrict, which results in high blood pressure and low blood flow. That can mean problems for the mother's organs, damaged arteries in the placenta, and can even result in serious consequences for the baby. Potential risks are um, abnormal growth of the fetus. The, uh, the baby may not grow as well in utero um, because of the changes that are going on with the placenta. The amniotic fluid can decrease as well and that can lead to a, whole, a lot of other problems um, such as stillbirth um, that can occur. So basically the baby could die if this is not um, identified and managed. Early identification is critical, so in addition to the symptoms Lindsay experienced, you'll want to watch for these warning signs as well. Unrelieved headaches, vision problems, nausea and vomiting, and abdominal pain, especially in the upper right side of the abdomen. During the past decade, doctors and researchers have learned much about preeclampsia, such as that it's more likely to occur in a woman's first pregnancy, women who have had diabetes before pregnancy, or in women with a family history of the condition. But many aspects of the disorder remain a medical mystery. The cause for preeclampsia is really not known. There has not been any type of test that we can do before a woman even gets pregnant to try to see if they're at risk chemically for developing the problem. The only cure for preeclampsia is delivery of the baby and getting the placenta out. And so that's why the patients are seen more frequently and monitored very closely because at a point where the baby's um, well-being is compromised or if the mother starts having more complications, we need to go ahead and deliver. Doctor's orders for Lindsay? Immediate maternity leave and bed rest to reduce the swelling and lower her blood pressure. Lindsay's main motivation for following doctor's orders was, of course, little Genevieve. I have a little picture with a sonogram um, that I just kept close so I could look over at her and just say, okay, this is all worth it, it'll be worth it in the end, you know, she's going to be my gift and we're doing this for her. The stencil's gift arrived right on time and in perfect health. It makes you feel a lot better that you did what the, exactly what the doctor said so you know that she was healthy. I was just overwhelmed with joy to the point where I was just sobbing, you know, I was so happy. Um, she was beautiful. As a first-time mom, you know, there's not a better feeling than just to see your baby for the first time. For Smart Medicine, I'm Lorraine Cachola.